So lately, uh, whenever we start my wife's Jeep, we end up with these lights staying on. So the ABS and the traction control. And sometimes uh, we'll also see the hill descent flashing on the side. And then the cruise won't turn on. So after pulling the codes, there were three different codes uh, registered for the ABS sensor on the left front wheel. Uh, the sensor on this Jeep was changed about a year ago. So I'm figuring it's probably the bearing itself that's starting to go and cause grief. So I'm just going to change the whole thing on both sides and hopefully that'll resolve that problem. So each corner has an ABS sensor. The front ones are behind the uh, rotor. So it loops behind the knuckle along the brake line back. And if you see those two little grommets behind the shock, that's where the joint is to, to splice in the, into the vehicle harness. So I'm gonna have to take this apart. Uh, there's a few things that are different on this Jeep than most. I have these TerraFlex uh, brackets to extend the, uh, the flex. So I'll have to cut those zip ties, uh, remove everything else. I'll take off the wheel uh, spacers and then I'll get to removing everything else. So I was hoping to see something clear that would show damage to the wire so I at least have an idea of why it's not working. Uh, but I went with a pretty good brand name about a year ago and I figured that it could be a question that the hub, the bearing itself was starting to go. It doesn't take much for them to, uh, to, to get an iffy signal. It's hard to tell with these bigger knobby tires if there is a problem or not. We'll give it a go. So once you've popped the harness out of the shock tower, that little red clip has to be released before the harness will come apart. So you see that little red tab right there? Well, if you lift it, at, it, lift it up and then push, you can release it. So there, just pushed it out. So now it's released. What, if, what you do after is there's a little black tab here. You get a flathead screwdriver, you pry it between it and it'll be able to release it. Once you get here, if you really want to try here, here's where the ABS sensor is. Uh, I've had a few times where I've actually had to take the, the wheel bearing off anyways because I, I it would be stuck. It would be jammed in there. So in this case, uh, I'm not sure when there's the last time these were taken off. I'm going to put some lubricant on all three of these bolts. They are 13 mil 12 point. So make sure that you have that socket. If not, you're going to have a lot of cursing. I tend to use a mix of sockets and wrenches. And even before we get to those bolts back there, we'll remove the 36 millimeter nut that holds the axle in place. The axle should be able to move a little bit. If it doesn't move at all, it could uh, give you an idea that there's a little bit of corrosion back there. So I'll move this around a little bit and see how it goes. And again, you gotta make sure that these are nice and clean. I'm gonna have to get a brush and clean them. So the bolts on the bottom side on, on the front and the back are loose. I'm just fighting with the one on the top. I'm really hesitating using my uh, my big uh, high torque over there. I'm just afraid of that these uh, this 12 point socket would just uh, just get destroyed. So I'll, I'll continue being patient, uh, just using a breaker bar and seeing if I can get a little bit of leverage on it. Again, these bolts tend to get pretty cruddy over time. So I'm putting a lot of uh, uh, liquid on it just to make sure that they, they have a little bit of chance of moving. I've had one of these bolts break on me in the past, which was not fun at all. Uh, so I wanna make sure that I'm patient and walk them out in one piece. Good news is all three bolts now move a fair bit uh, without getting jammed up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove them as much as I can. I'll work them back and forth a few times, see if I can break whatever's holding them back. I've been spraying a lot of uh, liquid on the threads to make sure that they're uh, breaking free as much as I can. And what I'll, I'm about to start doing is actually separating the wheel bearing from the knuckle. And one of the ways of doing it is with the bolts partially pulled out. All three bolts uh, have been removed. I put a little bit of uh, liquid on them just to make sure that uh, 
nothing binds up. Now I'm going to start tapping on the socket, alternating on all three bolts, and that should start pushing the hub out. So hopefully uh, nothing's seized on the axle itself. For some reason, it doesn't seem to want to... Oh, now it moves. Good. So that, that's going to be a good sign. At least nothing's stuck there. And now I'll be able to walk the wheel bearing out. So the hub doesn't want to come out too easily, so I took out the three bolts. What I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to tap on the, uh, on the triangular edge of this. Hopefully I can get it to spin. Uh, the part within the knuckle here is a circle. So hopefully once it starts to spin, it will allow it to break free and then it will come out. I may have gotten lucky because the heat shield now is moving just a tad up here. So maybe I can actually get a chisel in there and make it move a little bit more. So yeah, when the uh, heat shield starts to move like that, that's a good sign. At least it's starting to break free a little bit. Here's the old wheel bearing. Not a really good sign when you can hear it when you turn it like that. So now it's time to put the new piece in. So I'll be very generous when it comes to the NECs. Corroded and it sticks. This stuff is worth every penny. Definitely helps you in the future. So I'll also be putting some on all the bolts. I'll also put some on these splines. So quick wipe down of the shield. So the important part is the ABS sensor goes here. This goes to the knuckle. So wrap the new wire through it. I want to kink it. It goes kind of like that. And then the entire unit goes onto the vehicle. Something like that. Again, Loctite all the way down. I've had crud cause issues midway through in the past. So I'm just going to walk them in. I'm not going to tighten them yet because I still haven't installed the third one. I just want to be able to get this a little bit closer to true. And I'll do the same thing on the third one. So this 36 mil bolt, it gets tightened into 100 foot pounds. And the three 13 mil 12 points, they get tightened to 75 foot pounds. So what I found is turning the axle so that it aligns with the, your socket gives you a little bit more clearance. So I found an extension that's a, a tad shorter than the longest one I was using before. That'll give me the amount of clearance that I need for this to work. Good. So again, 100 foot pounds for that one. And one of the tricks is to put a wrench like that. So that will allow me to torque it down. So on something like that, if you want to start with a power tool, go for it. So the wrench here will keep the hub from turning. There we go. So now it's the question of feeding the ABS sensor back the way that it was. And the rest I'll route it once the calipers are installed. So I rerouted the line. The important thing is after uh, the uh, where it attaches to the shock, I routed the wire in the back and reconnected it beforehand. And then I came back and reconnected this. So now it's time to put the tire on, put it on the ground and see how it rolls. So the driver's side wheel bearing has changed, including the ABS sensor. Let's see what the computer tells us. So 
the sensors are still on. Let's see what happens if I start moving. I know there's some sensors that won't self clear until they actually get a signal from the, the sensor. And as soon as I went over 10 or 15 kilometers an hour, boom, all the lights turned off. Now I can actually turn the cruise control back on and off. So I'm gonna go for a quick little spin and it looks like this is done. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. Thumbs up, always appreciate it. If there's anything I can do to improve these, uh, let me know. Bye for now.